press the cookie again. Then it will press the bank. <laughs> then it will no, the factory, don't the do cookie, that. Then it'll buy ourselves a uh, and it just oof, cross the two, two hours. Meeting our adventure. And, I mean, this is oh, wonderful. God. So come back to this tomorrow. We'll continue this As game. an Irish fan moment, and a coffee I'm drinker, this cannot stand. As well as this run and this recording. I will be oh. back what is up guys welcome back to the channel today we're trying something a little different so about two months ago the spiffing brit played cookie clicker and in his video he said he was going to speed run it using automation and that automation was auto clickers so it took him just under two hours to break a million cookies which isn't very good now that was a million total cookies in his like cookie jar uh, and not the million cookies earned, which is the actual speedrun achievement. Now, there are a few caveats. So the speedrun relies on golden cookies, which show up randomly between 5 and 15 minutes. And if you get a very specific golden cookie, um, it just makes the speedrun really easy. Now, the spiffing Brit wasn't using golden cookies at all. He was only clicking the cookie and buying upgrades and buildings. One of the great things about Cookie Clicker is that it's on a website. <laughs> And it's on a website, so there's JavaScript and HTML and CSS and all behind it. So we can hook into that and actually just play the game using code. And that's exactly what we're going to do today. I'm wearing my Hacktoberfest t-shirt, so let's get coding. This is Cookie Clicker. It's pretty simple. You have a big cookie here, which you click. And in doing so, you earn cookies. Nice and straightforward. And then we get buildings. Buildings are what give you cookies per second. So every 10 seconds, I'll get a cookie because my cookies per second is 0.1. But we can keep upgrading that. Now we get 0.2 cookies a second. So now that we have over 100 cookies, we can buy a grandma and now she'll go creating one cookie a second for us, which is a huge improvement to our cookies per second. And eventually we get upgrades. So we're now up to 1.8 cookies a second. And you can see it's really, really, really slow. So, how might we go about automating this? Well, there's a couple of things. Firstly, we want something to click on the cookie every four milliseconds. Okay, after doing some research, I've discovered that actually Cookie Clicker has an anti-auto clicker system in place. Basically, there has to be a gap of four milliseconds between each individual click, otherwise a cookie simply won't be counted. Then we want something to come over here and buy upgrades and buildings. After that, the only piece left is to click the golden cookie when it shows up. If we can develop something to do those three simple tasks, then we've automated the game. Firstly, let's wipe our save. And what we can do is we can hit F12 and that brings up the dev tools. What can we do with the dev tools? Well, see things like how many cookies we have. Obviously, we have zero cookies at the moment. Click that and we have one cookie. What else can we do? Well, we can actually click the cookie from the code. So if we just paste this little bit of JavaScript and click, there we go, two cookies. So we've clicked the cookie without actually manually coming over and clicking the cookie. Is there anything else we can do? Well, if we look over here, we have a cursor available to buy. How can we buy that without actually clicking over here? Well, let's have a look at objects by ID and the first thing in that list, and look at this, that's the cursor. Can we do anything with that? Well, we can just call buy on it. And look at that, our cursor is purchased now. So we have all the parts we need to make the script. We just need to go about actually making it. And how do we do that? Well, we're gonna use something called Tamper Monkey. It's a plugin that's available for uh, Chrome and Firefox. So. This is Tamper Monkey. We've got no scripts at the moment, but let's start writing one. So we can click new script here, erase everything here, and start from scratch. First things first, we need a name. Hmm, Cookies and Tears, perfect name. Now I'm not gonna go over the code line by line because that's boring and you guys are all just gonna click off the video, but it is linked in my GitHub in the description below. So do check it out if you're interested in that kind of thing, or if you wanna run it yourself. Well, what I'm thinking is we probably wanna add something up here at the top of the screen. 
so like an enable disable button and when we click that button it'll enable the script and actually click the cookie buy all the buildings the upgrades click the golden cookie etc since we're also talking about speed running we're probably going to want to put a check in the script somewhere to see when we break a million cookies and then add like uh, the finish time up here or how long it took us so we can put that next to the button there's a lot of open space here so makes sense how do we know how many cookies we've baked when do we you know beat the speed run etc well we can see in here we have cookies baked all time our actual cookies is how many we've baked minus you know the stuff we've actually bought with those cookies so when this hits 1 million we've finish the speed run. We kind of have two goals here. The first goal is to beat the spiffing Brit and our second goal is to beat the speed run. Essentially a speed run starts when you wipe the save so you have six minutes and 50 seconds to bake a million cookies here. All right so I think one of the biggest challenges we're going to have is figuring out what the best upgrades and buildings are to actually buy. So we'll have to work out you know how many cookies per second each building and upgrade gets us versus how many or how long it'll take to afford that. And I mean, that's that's a lot of math. Uh, ooh, so we might just kind of hack around that bit and just use some uh, hard coded values. We'll probably like start at the bottom of the list and, you know, prioritize upgrades over buildings but that's about it. So here's our script. We have a lot here, um, but basically we have something that says whether cheats are on or off. We have things like figuring out uh, how many cookies we'll have in X seconds time, toggling uh, the text of the page, clicking the cookie. But we also have a check to see if we've finished the speed run. And if we have finished the speed run, puts it up in the top of the cookie clicker page. We have something here for buying upgrades as well and we check if we can buy any upgrades in the next 30 seconds. And if we can buy something in the next 30 seconds, we stop buying stuff and wait until we can afford that. Likewise, with the buildings, we check if we can buy anything now, and then can we afford anything in 15 seconds time? And we also iterate over both of these lists backwards. So we assume the latest upgrades and the latest buildings are the best to buy. It's not a terrible assumption, but it's not, you know, completely efficient. So we also have something here for clicking the golden cookie. We have something here for starting each of the timers, adding the button to the page and running the actual script. How does this actually work? Well, we have a fresh save here. We've just wiped it. And um, we have this enable cheats button up here. When we click this, it'll start clicking the cookie, it'll start buying upgrades, and it'll buy any golden cookies that are there. But before we start that, we wanna add a speed run timer to the page ourselves, just so we know how we're doing. All right, so we've got live split there. We've got six minutes, 50 seconds in there as the world record. So hopefully we can beat that on our first try. What we're gonna do is we're gonna wipe our save, start the timer straight away. So the timer starts once you wipe your save, and then immediately click enable cheats. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. All right, so immediately you can see we're getting a ton of achievements here. We're buying everything over the side. Uh, if we go to stats, we're on three and a half thousand cookies. Everything seems to be going well. We can see 60 seconds, uh, 60, 70 cookies a second, which is excellent. So we're about 35 seconds in and stuff is going perfectly. You can see we're already on farms over the side. And keep in mind, it's every four milliseconds we click the cookie. Every 100 milliseconds we buy an upgrade or buy a building. Remember, we also don't buy something every time. You can see here we can afford a farm, we can afford a grandmother, we can afford a cursor, but we're waiting for something. And I think we were waiting for that upgrade. We can see what that actually looks like in the console because we have like some print commands in there. So you can see here we're waiting for a farm at the moment. Uh, we're waiting for a grandma, waiting for a farm. We can wait for different things as well. So if we're waiting for a grandma and then it thinks, hey, in 15 seconds I can actually afford a farm, then it'll start waiting for a farm instead. 
Now it's just a waiting game. How long will it take us to get a million cookies baked? We're on 154,000, 163,000 now. I would also like to say that this isn't going to be an official speed run because the real speed runs, you know, have to be done manually. You have to be able to actually hear the mouse clicking or have a mouse camera and uh, obviously writing a script to just get you a free world record wouldn't be allowed. We could probably tweak a lot of the values here. We're waiting 30 seconds to buy upgrades and 15 seconds to buy buildings. Now those are just values that I pulled out of my arse. I would actually be quite surprised if we beat the world record with those values. So we're at 500,000 cookies now. 4 minutes, 45 seconds. Obviously we're a bit more than halfway because our cookies per second has just been increasing and increasing and increasing. So you can see we're already at 600,000 and that was what, like 15 seconds uh, to get 100,000 cookies. We're at 700,000, we're speeding up a lot here. So we're getting close. 800,000, we're basically there, 900,000. Ooh, we could get under 6 minutes, yeah. I think we're gonna get under 6 minutes. 981. Come on, there we go, 552. So you can see up here at the top of the screen, once we hit the million cookies, our completion time was added in yellow. Oh, we have so many achievements. You can see these shadow ones get a million cookies in under 15 minutes. We did it in 552, 57 seconds better than the world record. I am happy with that. Actually, come to think of it, we didn't kick any golden cookies yet. Yeah, no golden cookies at all clicked. Golden cookies show up after five minutes. I'd say a single golden cookie at five minutes would basically have us finished at like 5.05. .05. So our next goal is to get to 1.3 million cookies. I can't remember the exact number that was in the Spiffing Brits video. So let's restart. Three, two, one, go. All right, we're buying again. We'll leave it on for a little bit of time. I'll come back in a little while, see how we are. But yeah, I don't think we're gonna have a problem beating his uh, his record. So we're back at the five minute mark again, coming up on the end of the speed run. However, we're not gonna stop our splits because remember, we wanna beat the Spiffing Brit, but it would be interesting to see if we beat our last time. So we have to beat five minutes and 52 seconds. I wonder what the variance is there, if there is any. Theoretically, it should play pretty much the same every single time, but I guess, you know, CPU load and all might affect it slightly. We're coming up on time. Will it be 550? All right, so we did actually beat our time. There is a slight variance there. Let's see how long it takes to get that uh, 1.3 million cookies. I think he had what, like 36,000 cookies a second or something? Oh God, I should have really looked this up. Actually, we can look it up. All right, so we're still playing it in the background. Uh, so you can see if we switch over, you know, we're still clicking away here. Um, that's the great thing about having the scripts is, you know, we don't have an actual auto clicker, so this doesn't have to be in the foreground. Let's check the spiffing Brit. Here we are, uh, get out of the way. So at two hours, you can see he was at 1.3 million cookies, 36,000 cookies a second. He had four banks and 21 factories. So we'll be aiming for somewhere in around that and we'll see how long it takes us to get, you know, 37,000, we'll say cookies a second. Oh, so it looks like we hit a golden cookie in the background. That is fantastic. We're at, okay, so, uh, yeah, we hit 1.3 million cookies there. Uh, we're at 29,000 cookies a second. So um, yeah, we nearly broke his record while watching the video to find out what his record was. But we're only at two factories, so we need some banks still. I'd say we're probably looking at maybe 15 minutes. All right, well, we're at 56,000, 59,000. Oh God. Okay, I was way off. <laughs> 70, 74. <laughs> Uh, now the golden cookie is going to run out in a second, but it just shows how powerful those are. We're at two banks, 14,000 cookies a second. So the thing was, he actually had like, uh, I think it was 80 or something cursors, where we have 19. 
So clearly our very, very poorly written algorithm of waiting 30 seconds to buy an upgrade or 15 seconds to buy a building probably isn't ideal. We just crossed 10 minutes. We're at 18,000. That's halfway there. Still only 26,000. We're coming up to 15 minutes. So I might have been a bit off on my estimate. However, we are regularly hitting that th uh, million cookies, considering it only takes us like four seconds to get there. Ah, uh, no, wait, my math is terrible. <laughs> it takes us four seconds to get 100,000 cookies. And to think, all the years of math that I took. Ah, oh, wasted time. Oh, look, a golden cookie, 98 cookies. Fantastic, that has made all the difference. If that had not been another click frenzy, you know, we'd be finished by now. But no, 98 cookies. Wow. You know, I find myself sometimes just playing these idle incremental games and wondering what the hell have I done with my life? There is no point to them, but I do love playing them. So there's our fourth bank there as well. So four banks, uh, we said, what, 37,000? So another 4,000 cookies per second, and we are there. Uh, 30, ooh, come on. Why aren't you buying anything? Buy something. <laughs> what are you waiting for? Come on, buy the factory. 38,000. There we go. Woo. All right, so we'll say 21 minutes, 10 seconds. That's a bit better than two hours. That is unequivocally better. So thank you so much for watching, guys. Uh, this has been really fun for me. I'm a programmer by profession, so mixing that uh, professional programming with my hobby of gaming has been just a blast. Obviously, I don't have anything against the Spiffing Brit. I just saw his video, I'm subscribed to him, and I love his content, but I've just figured we could do a little better, and, you know, the automation was subpar there, um, so I just wanted to show people how you could actually approach the problem. And if you have any ideas for future videos, do leave them down in the comments below. I will read them, especially, you know, more games which we can program our way out of would be really fun. So let me know if you know of any games like that. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video.